This is the 0116 auger survey kit. All these parts are separately available, but we'll go through these parts in the list. Starting at the back, we've got a carrying bag. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six extension rods. We've got a selection of auger heads. We'll get around to those in a minute. We've got the handle, which has its synthetic grip that is detachable. And this whole system is on the bayonet connection system. And that is here. So let's just hook one of these up and grab a head. So we just slip this on like so. And the sleeve goes over the top. And this locks in like that. And away you go. Very simple system, very easy to use and very easy to dismantle. So we have a selection of heads here for different occasions. We'll start at the front here. This is the clay auger and you can recognise this by the blades being very parallel to each other and they're very thin as well. When you compare that to the combination auger, the combination auger has slightly longer blades here and also they're slightly more tapered to retain the sample. Moving on we have the sandy auger head and again wider blades again and lots more curvature to retain the sample. If you're in a situation where the soil is very uncohesive you have the coarse sand auger here and again you can see very tight here to retain the sample. The riverside auger Good for stony ground here and retaining the sample in this column. And lastly, the stony auger. And you can see nice strong blades for either pushing away, pushing out the gravel, or indeed pulling it into the sample area here. A little bit of history. The Edelman head here, this is what made Camp famous, put them on the map. And this is now almost a hundred year old design. And with all the modern technology we have and the clever instruments and tools for making tools, this is still very hard to replicate with modern machinery. And so Agelkamp still make these by hand, this portion here, by hand. As you can see, this whole set is unpainted, so there is no risk of contamination. Generally, we tend to clean these with just a steel brush. We let them rust. We don't mind that. Uh, it, uh, a little bit of iron into the soil doesn't hurt, but certainly better than spraying this with silicon, which we really would want to avoid. This whole set is designed around drilling a 7cm hole, so all of these augers are 7cm, and the way we measure that is across the diagonal here, so from this tip to this tip here, and that is 7cm. We can try that on the sand auger and again seven centimeters let's just compare that with a 10 centimeter clay here it is and we'll measure that across and there indeed seven uh, ten centimeters